Oh, I think I nearly flashed my nuts. All right, so it is 7.18 p.m. I have walked outside. Now it's like an earthquake. This video will be very different to anything that I've done before. I tend to say that a lot, but these are some highlights from a podcast I helped my mate Blade out with a few weeks ago. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, sorry about this makeshift setup. Uh, as you can see from that camera, you know, it's a bit dodgy. Oi, shut up. I bloody love Australia, but those things need to be cold. It was a joke, all right? You know, just chill. Anyways, I'm getting freaked out. It's too dark. The wind's picking up. It's getting cold, so I'll see you later. Today, I have Jamo with me, a good friend of mine from school, and we're just going to talk about him and what he's been doing for the last 18 years of his life. How are you, Jamo? Yeah, not bad, mate. Yourself? Yeah, good, thanks. Um, so, where did life start for Jamo? started at, um, it was a private hospital. In I was born December 15th, 99, and obviously I don't remember much from those days. I grew up with my sister and then, yeah, mum and dad. Wouldn't that be um, was Family Hospital you were born at? It was Family Hospital that I was oh, born at. What a coincidence, because I was born there too. Were you really? I was. I was one of the first 2,000 babies to be born there. There you go. I don't, it's not around anymore, is it? No, no, they, no, 2,000 was like the last year. Wow. Yeah. What was it like growing up? Were you always in the same house? Were you moved around a bit? What was it like? Yeah, so I was in the same house until I was about 14 or 15 when my parents split up. And yeah, so it was rough going from house to house, especially being like 14 and having school and stuff. Um, I'd always leave my folders and books at one house and then I'd be stuffed for the next day. But yeah, that's just how life goes sometimes. I went upstairs and I just played FIFA for probably four weeks straight. <laughs> Yeah, it was my coping mechanism, I guess, just, um, you know, taking myself away from the real world and just trying to forget about it and move on. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with having an outlet and being yeah. able to get your emotions out that way. Yeah. Um, what was it like at school? Did it ever impact your schoolwork or was it ever going to make things difficult or were your parents really, like, there for you throughout the whole thing? I'd say they were there for me. They both struggled, I feel, like. Even to this day, they're both going through things. However, my personal life at school, I'd, I'd say it didn't affect it. However, my schoolwork, maybe. I just was less focused because I thought, well, you know, if life's like that, why should I care? You know, yeah, I you that right. type of mentality. What was schooling like for you? Primary school, I went to a little primary school. There was only 120 kids there. And it was great. I love my time there. Um, but then, yeah, going from primary school to high school was a big jump because you're going from 120 kids to 1,000. Yeah. So it was a bit of a shock. You mean, yeah, because yeah. you were from group to group, time for time. Sort exactly. Of thing. And I like to have a large, like, amount of people that I can, you know, talk to and um, get around with because if you just stick to the one group, you're limiting your options. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Um, but... Like, anyone would talk to you, anyone would always be up for the chat, whereas, like, for me, it wasn't like that. So, that was something I envied. So, you wouldn't think that you're not outgoing. That's very interesting. Because, like, you always, for a laugh, yeah, like, you were a reserved person, quiet. But you were quiet, I don't know. You had your laughs. Yeah. And, like, yeah, you had your close mates. But you were always really, it seemed like you were always really accepted. Yeah. Like, throughout any group at school. I don't know. It's like, I just try and be as happy as I can and as accepting of everyone just to, you know, because if the world, if everyone's like, this is sounding so cliche, but if no, everyone right. is a happy, nice person, then and treats everyone with respect, then, you know, it's going to, it's going to be good and yeah. life will be more positive for everyone. It's so like a butterfly effect sort of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because I really enjoy making videos and trying to get emotions out of people and trying to make people's days better, I guess. That's a pretty cool outlook. Yeah. Would you ever consider taking your video making further and actually doing it at uni, or would you go TAFE or like go independently sort of thing? I could do. Um, for my videos, I've always been independent, but I'm looking to branch out further, I guess. Um, obviously, I'm not the biggest video maker by any means, but I have built a small audience who, you know, stick by me and watch my videos and appreciate them, which I like, I love because I'm, you know, just helping helping someone out if they're having a rough day or what, something like that. So I would, um, I guess, look into it. I'm not sure where life leads me. When you make your videos, are you looking at more film and TV or more? It's like mainly YouTube, is it? Yeah, at the moment it's more YouTube. Um, I can see a career in the future in YouTube. However, 
it's very, very tough to make it. And a lot of people who do it and are successful have made it for the wrong reasons, I feel, you know, just through publicity stunts. And it's fine. Like, everyone has their own way of doing it. Any sort of following? Because you're at about 1,100 right now, mm-hmm. or is it a bit more? 1,267. Not counting, I <laughs> No, that, that's all right. Having, <laughs> like, you've worked from the bottom up. I remember when you actually just first gave it a crack. Yeah. It was about, what? Two years ago, maybe? Yeah, two years ago. And now looking at you now, like you've worked your way up. So there's only, like you can only go up from there. That's, that's right. I've learned so much as well. Since I made, there's a Farmer Wants a Female video. It's like a Farmer Wants a Wife parody. And I made that and I got a lot of personal messages of people that enjoyed it and said, we want more of this. And, you know, I'm like sort of moving into the comedy side of things whilst also using my platform to spread other ideas and other ways of thinking, I guess. That's pretty cool. Do you like more skit-based stuff now? Is that like writing a script, actually acting, not just being yourself? Because you impersonated a character in that video. I did. Um, I guess, yeah, that's something that, you know, it's not my main focus, but I do like that escape, I guess. Um, It's a pretty cool album. Yeah, because especially when I made that video, I just, I thought of it one night and I said, Um, to my mate Jack who lives in Queensland now Um, I said look I want to make this video will you be keen to come over and record it and he said yeah whatever let's do it and then I really enjoyed it and just ever since a young age I've always liked trying to make people laugh and if even if I don't I'll laugh at myself like there's always something good will come out of it and you know no matter how hard times get if someone's laughing it can make things better. Have you got any side projects then with a bit of acting in them that are coming up, or oh, a little bit. Um, Do you want to keep them a secret or give the people what they want? <laughs> well, I'm not 100 percent sure. I've got a lot of ideas. They're actually on my phone in like a, a notes section. So, yeah, um, I think there will be an episode two of the Farmer video, which I heard you're very keen to. Oh, work. Sure. No, you'll help out. Um, so, yeah, I guess things like that and just trying to. I guess, continue to build a following and just have fun because that's the main thing. You've got to have fun with it. I got a laptop when I was very young, very lucky to have uh, done so, and I made videos on iMovie on the Mac since I was like nine years old, just kicking the footy in the backyard, playing cricket, trick shots, yeah. And yeah, I just, I like trying tons of new videos and different ideas, and I guess it's led me to where I am today, and I love it, so that's what's happening. Just got to keep going with it. That's it. What do you think youth is? What is youth to you? I feel like youth is a time in one's life where they need to experience things, learn, grow, and I guess it's a time where you've got to have fun and you've got to live your life. You know, you, you're only in your teenage years or your child years once, yeah. so you've got to make the most of it. Um, so I feel like, yeah, it's just something that you really need to embrace and make the most of. Live it up. That's it. Too easy. Well, thanks for coming on the show, mate. Really appreciate it. Hopefully we can do it again soon. I'd love to. Beautiful. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Over the laptop as well. Whoa!